Welcome back everyone to Learning Petition. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 14.87 and it says the block has a mass of 20 kilograms and is released from thrust when s is equal to 0.5 meters. If the mass of the bumpers A and B can be neglected, determine the maximum deformation of each spring due to the collision. So as we see here, what we have in this figure, we got these two springs. So we got these two springs, spring B, spring A. And we have this block that is basically going to be uh, released and the way it is going to uh, push it down, right? So what I like to do in this video is like always just write out my given. So we're given that the mass of the block is equal to 20 kilograms. So 20 kilograms. We have that the gap between these two springs is equal to 0 0.5 meters. And at this moment, the system is at rest, meaning that the velocity is zero, acceleration is zero, everything is zero, right? What else are we, uh, it's a given. Well, they're giving us the stiffness coefficient for K, for the spring A and spring B, so 500 newtons per meter and 800 newtons per meter, respectively, right? So we're going to utilize chapter 14 equations which is basically conservation of energy so this is our conservation of energy equation and let's see so what do we have well what we're going to have is that in our figure we are displayed our position one where our block is at rest and is at this amount of height for our second position what we will have is that for the maximum deformation of each spring that happens when the springs are touching each other. So we will have one of the plates here and then the other plate here and they're touching each other. And the springs are compressed by certain amount. And our block is sitting down in here. The other spring is also being compressed. How much are they compressed? We don't know and that's how much we need to determine. So we're going to utilize this equation. We're going to start. If T1 is the position one, this will be position two. And if we make that the dot home line is in here, that means that our kinetic uh, and our potential energies are equal to zero. So the kinetic is equal to zero because the velocity is equal to zero since we're at rest right it's given to us and also the potential is zero because well we set up our datum to be at this position meaning that our y is zero therefore no gravitational potential and the springs have not um, been compressed at all they are on stretched lens therefore this is also equal to zero all right so we're done with our left side of this equation. Then we have equal and then we have T2. Well, T2 happens when these two springs are compressed at its maximum and they are equal to each other. The force in them are equal to each other. Therefore, there's no more velocity. It's instead of going down, it stops and it's about to start pushing the weight up, right? Due to the forces of the spring. Therefore, the velocity is equal to zero as well in this second position so this one is also equal to zero however the potential at my point two does change because we have a different height and we have that the springs are compressed so we have both of them so let's just start with the gravitational potential well what do we have it's the weight times y which is a height so the weight is 20 kilograms times the acceleration 9.81 times the height. So how much down this this block went from here down? Well, for sure it went 0 0.5 meters. However, it also went down the amount that the springs were compressed. So we need to take that into account. So we got 0 0.5 meters plus the amount that my spring A got compressed plus the amount of my spring B got co compressed. Then also, we have to check our signs since we're going down. That means that this will be a negative gravitational potential. Okay, 
So we're done with the gravitational potential. Now we have to go and look for our elastic potential. We have two springs. So we have plus one half. First spring, spring A. The K is equal to 500 times the amount that it got compressed, which is A as A squared. We don't know it yet. We will trying to find it. Plus one half A hundred for spring B and the amount that it got compressed, which is S B squared. Okay, so this is our equation, and if we pay attention, well, we have one, two, uh, we got two variables and only one equation. So in order to solve this, what we have to do is think a little bit outside of our chapter 14 and realize that in our position two in here, well, as I said before, the force of this spring, of a spring A, has to be the same as the force of spring B. So better said if both of these are touching each other from here like they are touching right at the same point that means that my plate a is applying a force to my plate b and same thing happens my plate b is applying a force to my plate a and both of them are equal and the same to each other right so the force of a spring can be determined by multiplying the coefficient k times the amount that it got compressed. Therefore, if we're talking about our force uh, of the spring A, we will have equal to, well, K is equal to 500 times SA. And similarly, for B, we have the force of the spring at B, it will be equal to 800 times SB. And as previously I explained, these two are going to be equal to each other. So we will have 500 SA is equal to 800 SB. And if we solve for SA, we will have SA is equal to 8 over 5 SB. So this is a 5. And we can further simplify into 1.6 SB. Okay? And this will be my second equation. So this is equation 1. This is equation 2. Due to the nature of equation one, which has SA to the first power, SB to the first power, SA to the second, SB to the second, it's better if we solve this system of equations by utilizing a computer, utilizing any program. And I went ahead, I did that, and I solved for SA equal to, so I plugged it in as 1.02 meters, okay? And for SB, we will have a total of 0 0.638 meters if we run to three decimal uh, places, okay? So these are our final answers for this problem. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.